Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. Today I want to show you a Milano, and this wall telephone is made by Siemens. This is an Italian telephone. It's a beautiful vintage telephone, and Jim sent this telephone in from Texas. And Jim sent this telephone in because when he received this telephone, the dial was a little bit damaged. It uh, did not want to return properly. And um, I think Jim probably worked it a little bit and got it to go back and forth. But there was also something rattling around inside, so Jim sent it in to us. And uh, I want to take this telephone down. We've already been in this telephone. Um, let me set this down real quick and we can get a look at this telephone and this telephone is what you would want to call um, a hybrid because basically what it has um, is it's uh, it's an old vintage telephone with a newer style um, PC board in it so um, it's kind of a hybrid type phone. They're using an old vintage body and then they're using some newer electronic parts to go with it. Uh, one of the problems though is they went to all that trouble to do that but then they had a, a ringer element in here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder that ringer element in for a second and I'm going to give you a listen of what it sounded like uh, when we first started working on this telephone. You do not, uh, not want to put a, a, an electronic ringer with an old style phone like this. It just will not sound any good. And uh, I'm surprised after all the work that they did to this telephone that they um, allowed that to happen when they could have uh, installed a bell. So let's do that real quick. Give you a listen to what this sounded like. And we'll put something on the hook switch here so we can hold it down. And let's ring the telephone. Okay, and as you can see, that doesn't do the telephone any justice. Now we already removed a switch, and I'll tell you about that in a second. So I'm going to short the pins out so it's on high. Okay, and as you can see, um, and that just didn't uh, do the telephone any justice whatsoever. So um, when I talked to Jim on the telephone when we were doing the initial checkout of this telephone, I said, um, you know, why don't we install a bell? So what I did was I installed a bell. And what we did here, we utilized, there was a hole here for a back bracket to hang this telephone. And uh, it's right here. So what we did, so we wouldn't have to drill any more holes, and if we would have had to drill a hole or two, we're not going to cry about that, but, you know, I try to uh, do these conversions to where, you know, they're as less noticeable as possible. So we were able to utilize this hole for the screw that holds the bracket on, that holds it on the wall, and there's a long washer here that uh, went through a long screw and we were able to tuck the other end of the bell in that hole so it all worked out just fine and then we have some some bell clearance here from the board to the bell and we haven't tightened all the screws down there's a rubber washer underneath here that will collapse a lot more when I tighten that down so basically what happened was there was a switch that we removed from the circuit board that was hanging down below the board here about where the bell was. Well, it was a switch for high and low on the ringer element. And since we don't need this switch, it was just in the way. And that switch did not 
come out of the back of the telephone. So unless you took the back of the telephone off, you'd have never known that the switch was in here to begin with. So it's not going to hurt a thing for it to be gone. What you see here is the ringer element that we put back on real quick and I'm going to remove that real quick. Let's get that out of the way since we're not using it anymore. I just wanted to show you what it sounded like when it was when it did have a ringer on it. And what you see here now is you see um, a, a, a cord, a wire that is from the bell and then this green is from the bell that we installed. Okay, and what we want to do is I want to solder it to this leg of the capacitor. This is the ring circuit capacitor and I um, <clears throat> want to solder it here and then I want to go up here on the board underneath this hook switch flap and I want to solder it to the line and that's the incoming line. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, I want to check the time on there. They don't give you much time on YouTube, so let's do that real quick. Let's tin these wires up, and um, and get this soldered. And then I want to tin the bell up. I mean the uh, ring cap. I want to tin that up real quick. Okay, we got that in, and now we want to sneak in here and solder that up, and that's soldered. So now we have both of our, our wires coming from our bell installed. And we'll secure them uh, down. We might stick a little hot glue and hold them into place or something just to get them out of the way so they don't cause any problems. And we're going to tighten our bell down a little bit. But um, now what we can do is we can hold the switch down, the hook switch. And let's ring the phone now. Now that sounds a little more like an antique phone. So I think we're well on our way to repairing this telephone. Let it ring one more time. Okay, so basically it's kind of like using a little bit of the old with a little bit of the new and making the telephone um, work for another uh, 50 to 60 years basically and uh, it's a very beautiful telephone. We'll get this all put back together again. We'll get our bracket here uh, tightened down and, and back into shape so that it can be hung on the phone. As you can see there's a sticker here that says uh, it's made in Italy which uh, I see these phones from time to time and, and they're definitely made in Italy um, and they are really a very beautiful telephone um, and I think anyone would love to have this in their home so basically we're going to go through this phone a little more and, and put it all back together again and, and tighten everything up and uh, get this telephone back in the mail to Jim. So this is a Milano wall telephone by Siemens. And uh, that's the way it sits and hangs on the wall. So it's a very nice telephone all in all. And we went through the dial and uh, adjusted it and got it back to uh, uh, working order. And as a matter of fact, uh, we got uh, a little bit of time left. What I could do is, well, we don't have enough time to, to actually try that out. So I was going to try to dial into the normal line and get that all squared away and, and dial a number and, and let you listen to it. But 
YouTube only gives us about 10 minutes, so we're going to have to shut the video down. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair. And goodbye.